the China national football team, nicknamed the Dragon or the Great Wall is the national association football team of the People's Republic of China and is governed by the Chinese Football Association. The team is colloquially referred to as Team China, the national team, or Guicubzar. The team was founded in 1924 in the Republic of China and joined FIFA in 1931. Following the Chinese Civil War, the CFA was formed in the newly founded People's Republic of China. They remained affiliated with FIFA until 1958, when they withdrew, but they rejoined in 1979. After the transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong from the United Kingdom in 1997, and Macau from Portugal in 1999, these two special administrative regions have continued to have their own teams, which play as Hong Kong, and Macau, China, respectively. China have won the East Asian Cup twice in 2005 and 2010, they have been runners-up at the Asian Cup twice in 1984 and 2004. Although China failed to score a goal in their maiden FIFA World Cup appearance in 2002, losing all their matches, just qualifying for the tournament has been considered the greatest accomplishment in their football history. Though football lacks a long history in China, there were over 250 million viewers for the 2004 AFC Asian Cup final, the largest single event sports audience in the country's history at that time. History 1924 a Euro 1978, the Chinese Football Association was founded in 1924 and has been affiliated with the FIFA since 1931. China, under the newly instated People's Republic of China, played their first match on August 4, 1952, a friendly against Finland, with Finland being one of the first nations to hold diplomatic relations with China. For nearly 30 years, China primarily only played friendly matches with nations that recognized the PRC, such as Albania, Burma, Cambodia, Guinea, Hungary, Mongolia, North Korea, North Vietnam, Pakistan, the Soviet Union, Sudan and the United Arab Republic. They however also participated in 1958 World Cup qualifying, where they lost to Indonesia on goal average. 1978 Euro 2002 Chinese football began to grow in popularity in the beginning of the late 1980s through the introduction of televisions in Chinese households. Previously, the most popular international sports in China were badminton and table tennis. In 1980, China competed in qualifying for a berth in the 1982 World Cup finals, but they lost a playoff game against New Zealand. During the qualifying for the 1986 World Cup, China faced Hong Kong in Beijing in the final match of the first qualifying round on May 19, 1985, where China only needed a draw to advance. However, Hong Kong produced a 2 Euro 1 upset win, which resulted in riots between local fans. In qualifying for the 1990 World Cup, China again reached the final round of qualifying but lost to Qatar in their final group game. During the qualifiers for the 1994 World Cup they failed to reach the final round of qualifying, coming second behind Iraq. China was on the verge of making it through the qualifying for the 1998 World Cup but lost crucial matches at home against Qatar and Iran. On January 26, 2000, China beat Guam 19 a Euro 0 in 2000 Asian Cup qualification which was the world record for the largest victory margin in an international football match at the time. The record however was broken by Q8 19 days later. On October 7, 2001, China, under the direction of head coach Bo Romilutinovia, advanced to the 2002 World Cup. The first time China had reached a World Cup. However, they failed to score a single goal, losing all three group matches and were eliminated in the group stage. 2002 Euro 2009, in November 2004, the team failed to advance through the preliminary qualification stage for the 2006 World Cup, losing out to Kuwait on goals difference, despite China's seven goals against Hong Kong in the last qualifying match. Head coach Ari Han was later replaced by Tsu Guang. In August 2005, China won the 2005 East Asian Football Championship with a 1 Euro 1 draw against Korea Republic, 2 Euro 2 draw against Japan and a 2 Euro 0 victory against Korea DPR. It became their first international title ever. 
while qualifying for the 2007 AFC Asian Cup and 2006, the team became the subject of immense criticism in the media and a national embarrassment when they had managed to score only one goal against Singapore at home in Tianjin, and only managed a draw with the Southeast Asian city-state in the away game. In preparation for the 2007 Asian Cup, the team spent the weeks leading up to the tournament on a tour of the United States. While the 4 Euro 1 loss to the United States was not unexpected, a 1 Euro 0 loss to a real Salt Lake team that finished bottom of the MLS that season caused serious concern. During the Asian Cup 2007, the team played three games, winning against Malaysia, drawing with Iran after leading to a Euro 1 at half time and losing to 3 a Euro 0 Uzbekistan. After high expectations, China's performance drew immense criticism on online communities, which condemned the coach Tsu Guang, players, and the Chinese Football Association in general. Tsu was later replaced by Vladimir Petrovia for this poor performance. Some commented that China's reliance on foreign coaches for the past decade had been an indicator of its poor domestic coach development system. In June 2008, China, once again, failed to qualify for the 2010 FIFA World Cup, losing against Qatar and Iraq at home. After 2008 Beijing Olympic Games, Yin Tai Sheng became the caretaker of the team. Gao Hongbo era, in April 2009, China appointed the young Gao Hongbo as coach, replacing Yin Tai Sheng. His arrival saw China opting for a new strategy turning towards ground passing tactics and adopting the 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 formation. It was noted that Chinese footballers had relied too heavily on the long balls and had a strategy for almost a decade. Above all, Hui Di, the chief of the Chinese Football Association, stressed that, any time, no matter win or loss, they must show their team spirit and courage. I hope, after one year's effort, the national team can give the public a new image. Under Gao, China drew its first game against Germany 1-1 during a friendly in May 2009. Afterwards, China were able to gain 13 points in the Asian Cup qualifications for 2011. This led to a revival in interest amongst some Chinese football fans, as China had also won 1-0 against France in June 2010 as well as holding World Cup quarter-finalists Paraguay to a 1-1 draw in September 2010. With some even thinking that reaching the semi-finals of the Asian Cup being possible. However during the tournament itself, China were knocked out in the group stages. This led to some discontent amongst Chinese fans, plus it also seems that this was the reason that eventually led to the replacement of Gao by the CFA. Although Gao's winning percentage was the highest for a Chinese manager since Nian Weisi, and has not been defeated since the end of the Asian Cup in 2011, this was still not enough to convince the CFA of replacing him. And in August 2011, he was replaced by Jose copyright Antonio Camacho, less than a month before the World Cup qualifiers for 2014. But corruption still remains a problem in Chinese football, and in 2010, we admitted that recently, Chinese football has degraded to an intolerable level. It has hurt the feelings of fans and Chinese people at large, he added that he was confident in being able to aid Chinese men's and women's football return to the leading status in Asia and world respectively in future. We pointed out six major problems which had caused the huge slump of Chinese football in the past few years, while he dissected the dwindling pool of young player selection as being a big problem along with unhealthy professional leagues affected by gambling and match-fixing scandals. Appointment of Jose Copyright Antonio Camacho On August 13, 2011, Jose Copyright Antonio Camacho of Spain was appointed as the head coach of the Chinese national football team, signing a three-year deal for a reported annual salary of $8 million. The Chinese Football Association head Wei Di explained the decision as being part of a long-term plan to help the country catch up with Japan and South Korea. He noted that, compared with our neighbors Japan and South Korea, Chinese football is lagging far behind, we need to work with a long-term view and start to catch up with a pragmatic approach. A lot of our fans expect China to qualify for the 2014 World Cup finals in Brazil. They are afraid that changing the coach at the last moment may cause bad effect to the team's qualifying prospect. 
I can totally understand that. But we do not have any time to waste. Chinese Football Administrative Center Vice President Yu Hongchen added, the qualifying stage of 2014 World Cup is just a temporary task for him. Even if the task is failed, Camacho will not lose the job. When we started to find a new coach for the national team, we mainly focus on European countries such as Germany, the Netherlands and Spain. First of all, they have advanced football concepts, and secondly they have a productive youth training system, which we can learn from. We hope he can help us to find a suitable style. However, China failed to qualify for the 2014 FIFA World Cup, after only finishing third in the third qualifying round, with three wins and three losses out of six games played. During a friendly match Spain in 2012, many football experts and pundits alike expected Spain to easily steamroll China. However, many critics were stunned to find China and Spain still deadlocked 0-0 until the 84th minute when a goal from Manchester City attacking midfielder David Silva gave Spain the only goal of the match. Even though they lost, this performance was viewed highly in the Chinese media as well as Zhang Cheng, China's goalkeeper who made a number of exceptional saves from La Furia Roja. China went on to face Vietnam, a few days later, where they easily won 3-0 with a brace from Gao Lin and Feng Rin Liang. Disappointment would soon strike again, two months later, when China faced Sweden only to lose 1-0 with the lone goal coming minutes after the second half. Camacho coached a young squad to an 8-0 loss to Brazil on September 10, 2012 in a friendly match, which would go on record as China's worst ever defeat in their history as well as also succumbing China to their worst ever FIFA world rankings of 109. It was the worst defeat for China since their loss to the United States in 1992. After a disappointing FIFA World Cup qualification Camacho lead China in their 2015 AFC Asian Cup qualification campaign where in the first qualification group game China lost 2-1 to Saudi Arabia. Camacho then managed China on June 15, 2013 against Thailand in a shocking 5-1 loss to a team ranked 142 and 47 places below China. This loss then saw Camacho subsequently sacked a week later with Fu Bo assigned the caretaker role. Stadium The Workers' Stadium is a multi-purpose stadium in Beijing with a capacity of 70,161. It was built in 1959 and was last renovated in 2004. It is mostly used for football matches and was the main venue for the 1990 Asian Games, where the opening and closing ceremonies took place. Beijing Guoan also use the stadium to play their home league games. Also used frequently by the China team is the Kunming Tuodong Sports Center which is a multi-purpose stadium in Kunming, Yunnan Province. The stadium holds 40,000 people. It has been used for international friendly matches since 2010, and recently chosen for the home ground for 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification matches. Kit China's traditional home kit is all red with a white trim while their away kit is traditionally an inverted version of the home kit, fully white with a red trim. During the 1996 AFC Asian Cup, China employed a third kit which was all blue with a white trim and was used against Saudi Arabia. China's current kit is produced and manufactured by Adidas. Recently, the team has started to use cooling vests in certain climates. Rivalries, traditionally, China's greatest rival has been Japan. This was exemplified after Japan beat China 3 Euro 1 in the final of the 2004 AFC Asian Cup, when Chinese fans began to riot near the north gate of Beijing's Workers' Stadium. The rioting was said to be provoked by controversial officiating and the heightened anti-Japanese sentiment at the time. China's most recent tournament meeting with Japan was at the 2013 East Asian Cup in South Korea, where the two sides drew 3 a Euro 3. China went on to finish second in the tournament behind Japan. Another well-known rivalry is with neighbor South Korea. China played 27 matches against South Korea between 1978 and 2010, a span of 32 years, without winning a single match. The media coined the term Korephobia to describe this phenomenon, 
and China registered its first win against Korea on February 10, 2010 when it won 3 a Euro 0 in the 2010 East Asian Football Championship, eventually going on to win the tournament. Media coverage, home and away matches are shown on CCTV5, CCTV5+, GDTV Sports, STV Sports, BTV6 and the other local sports channels in mainland China. Coaching staff, players, current squad, match date, June 18, 2014 Opposition, Amazedonia Match Date, June 22, 2014 Opposition, Amazedonia Match Date, June 29, 2014 Opposition, Amali Caps and Goals Correctors of, June 29, 2014 V. Amali, Recent Call-Ups, the following players have been called up within the last 12 months. Previous Squads, FIFA World Cup Squads. 2002 FIFA World Cup Squad, AFC Asian Cup Squads, 2011 AFC Asian Cup Squad, 2007 AFC Asian Cup Squad, 2004 AFC Asian Cup Squad, 2000 AFC Asian Cup Squad, 1996 AFC Asian Cup Squad, 1992 AFC Asian Cup Squad, 1988 AFC Asian Cup Squad, Recent and Forthcoming Fixtures, Competitive Record, all-time results. As of June 29, 2014, counted for the FIFA A-level match only. Competition history